randomness within randomness. Today I'll show you how to generate a random system that produces random values and decides if interpolate or not between these values depending on a binary condition. Now let's start by using a metro. So let's say that every half a second we want to trigger a random, let's say four, then select zero. So each time you receive a zero, we can generate a uh, trigger that outputs two bangs. Here we can apply a toggle so that we can uh, trigger, we can turn uh, the system on and off. The output of the first uh, bang, which is uh, generated from this right output, is sent to a random 2. Then the second output is sent to a random, let's say, 1000. Now we can apply two number of boxes so that we can see which values are producing. As you can see, random2 is producing a binary output. What is doing the random instead, it's producing actual values. Now we can stop the system, connect the random value to a pack float float. And before connecting the uh, binary output to this pack, and we'll see later why do we need to pack these values, we can send it to a multiplication sign connected to the pack. Let me lower this pack a little bit. And here we can generate a slider. By default produces values from 0 to 127. And we can multiply its value by let's say 40. Or 43. Here we are. And then we send this value to the right inlet. And now let's see what value it's producing. If we have zero in here, oops, no matter what value we are um, setting here, the, the outcome will be zero. But if we generate one, We'll multiply 1 by the actual value produced by the slider and the multiplication node. We can now print the overall message. Now we send this pack to a line tilde. If we send to line tilde two values, the first one is the target value that we want to reach and the second value is the time at which we want to reach that value. If the time is set to zero, it will jump immediately to the target value. But if the timing value is different from zero, we'll interpolate between the previous value and the target value. To uh, monitor this, we can apply a snapshot tilde, which needs to be updated uh, with a very fast pace, so let's say 50 milliseconds. We can set, we can use the um, upper trigger to turn uh, this metro on and send it to the snapshot that can be finally connected to a number box. Of course, this system is uh, controlled by you. You can decide the range at which all the random uh, nodes are working. And of course, the interpolation time. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you. If so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support this series. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.